Home improvement has risen to new heights on the International Space Station. Meet one of the astronauts who helped with the update. True Tales from Endeavor, Shuttle Mission, STS-126, and the International Space Station, next on Real World. The International Space Station has been around for more than 10 years, long enough to be due for an extreme makeover, Space Station Edition. The moving van in this case? The Space Shuttle Endeavor, delivering a suite of high-tech equipment that will double the occupancy of the station to six people. A cargo container called Leonardo was loaded with nearly six and a half metric tons of gear, the biggest payload ever packed into a shuttle. Christmas came early on the International Space Station. The Endeavour crew delivered an expanded kitchen, including a refrigerator, and that enables a space first, chilled beverages. Also delivered, new crew quarters, a second toilet, a resistance exercise device, and a wastewater recycling system. Leonardo was attached to the space station long enough for crew members to remove the cargo and then it was put back into the space shuttle for a return to Earth. Astronaut Greg Shamata spent six months in the space station before returning home on Endeavour. These new facilities are going to make it possible to have uh, sleep stations for, um, for additional crew members, uh, hygiene stations as another bathroom, um, and also um, recycling technology, which we need in the future for wherever we're going to go in space. The other key component of the STS-126 mission, four spacewalks to fix the space station's solar alpha rotary joints. That will ensure enough power for bigger crews in the future. The solar array you know, on the starboard side is collecting solar power, but it wasn't optimally tracking the sun. There was some friction, essentially, on the ring that has to rotate that whole array. So, you know, sometimes it's pointing right at the sun, sometimes it's not, you know, but ideally we want it to track the sun. And um, so the work that they were doing is essentially trying to lubricate that joint. It was a very successful repair that they did. During one of the spacewalks, a set of tools got away. Floating out to space, becoming impossible to recover. We see it. Yeah, we see it. Because of the protection needed, gloves don't allow for a lot of dexterity. And spacesuits don't allow for quick movement to retrieve a tool case that gets away. But NASA prepares for such things, with contingency plans in place for just about anything that doesn't go perfectly. Occasionally things get away from us during spacewalks. It'll happen again, you know, we, we do everything possible to avoid that, but um, you know, these kind of things will happen and um, we just have to be careful and also have spares and backup plans and a lot of the planning is uh, just pre preparing for that kind of contingency. Greg's role on the space station during his six months in space was as flight engineer and science officer. There, he had lots of opportunities to put his excellent math skills to work. Everything on the space station depends on math. All of engineering is, uh, is mathematics. Uh, so every piece of equipment, the space station itself, the trajectory that it's in flying around the Earth, in order for a spacecraft to rendezvous in space, it's a very, you know, very complicated math problem. Uh, and so, you know, the, you don't see the math, but it's all there, you know, to make everything happen. So the Space Shuttle Endeavour's home improvement mission to the space station was a big success. And Endeavour, this is the International Space Station. We're great. Thanks for the incredible makeover and leaving the station in fantastic shape. And thanks to your heroic efforts, we are one step closer to a six-person crew. So from the International Space Station, God stop landing. For more information about the space station and recent and future shuttle missions, visit www.nasa.gov.